fuck. I'm camera shy. I haven't been on camera. I just fucking gleeked on my fucking laptop. What an awful way to make my comeback. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Daddy Goose from Chris of Black Game. If you guys are from Chris of Black Game, you decided to come on over to check out my solo music reaction channel. Thank you guys so much for checking the channel today. Or if you guys from the web, you decided to click on this fucking kick-ass thumbnail. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Uh, or if you're a subscriber, you're part of the 1.76 thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's episode. And thank you guys. I have been gone for quite some time. If you didn't hear, I went on, got sick a little bit too, which is not clutch for a video return. Um, I was on vacation for about a week and then I finished my final move, uh, which will also answer your question. What's up with the background? It is completely different. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is different. I'm in a completely new house now. The house is still jam-packed with boxes on boxes, but I got my computer set up and everything so I could get back to you guys as quick as possible and start getting out that content you guys love and that I love to do. Um, as you can see, let's take a little journey. We have our two very official plaques still up in the background, our 100 subscriber cardboard play button and our 1,000 subscriber tinfoil play button. Um, I'm probably going to change this setup immediately, but this is what we got for the setup right now. I'm planning to change this, maybe with some shelving, make something fun. In the background, I got some pop figures with some Overwatch characters. Love that game. And if you guys know what these are, I don't even know if I'm in camera anymore. If you guys know what these are back here, that's fucking awesome. That's like an old ass... This has nothing to do with the music reaction video. I'm just hyped about it. This is an old Burger King for like the 19 fucking 90s gold plaque Pokemon cards, limited, very limited edition. And I got all of them. I'm pretty hyped about that. But like I said, I'm going to be changing this setup a little bit. This is just temporary, but I just wanted to set something up so it looks kind of cool for you guys. I'm going to put some shelves here, put some more cool stuff here, get maybe the poster up here again, the Houndoom, the classic Houndoom somewhere. Probably change this, maybe put these on some wood and put... I, anyway, I'm very excited about the new place. And I'm, I think, I feel like I'm just splurting out words right now because I'm just excited to be back and talking to you guys again. But with that being said, let's go on to what you guys really came for. The Future Palace reaction. I didn't know they were coming out with a new song again. And when I saw this, I could not wait. Unfortunately, this song has been out for like over a week now. And I have been on edge not listening to it the whole time. So I'm finally here. Very excited. I'm hoping they come out with a new album because Malphys just came out and I do Definitely regret not reacting to that. Uh, that was before Future Palace was ever on the channel. This is actually the first time they're on the channel. But I regret not doing Malphys because that song was an absolute banger. And even you guys said you wish I would have reacted to it. So I'm not missing out on the second chance to do a reaction to Future Palace. With that being said, though, let's get it. I cannot wait. Future Palace, uncontrolled. Let's get it. This opening riff, early pause. This is already exactly what I was hoping for. This is actually better than what I was hoping for. This is heavier than I thought it was going to go. Malthus took a much heavier direction than they're used to. This is this is amazing. Living up to expectations. Can't wait to see where the vocals go with this. I'm excited now. Let's keep going. I'm going to back it up maybe just a little bit, but this is good. Right now I always say what I can't detain No focus and 
I have missed this band. I have missed this band. I, 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 this is my first time reacting to them. So I guess you guys don't know where I sit with Future Palace. Um, I know it might come to surprise to you. Spirit Box is up there. Encore is up there. But Future Palace just has a special place in my heart for a female lead band. I don't know if it's because it's the first female lead band I heard of and we just clicked immediately. I don't know. But I really like this band. That chorus was awesome. She really makes up with the high notes too. But very subtly, this is awesome. I just really like this band. Let's keep going. This is fantastic. This is exactly what I was hoping this was going to be like. Let's keep going. I wish the camera could pick up my goosebumps. Holy shit. There was a time in that. I forgot I was recording a video. That's how much this video sucked me in. In. Sucked me in. Um, I literally forgot I was doing a video. I, I was enjoying the song that much. That was therefore the lack of pauses for me to even talk about what I was hearing. Because I just didn't want to pause it. I just kept listening and was genuinely vibing and jamming out to how good that was that was awesome um like i said future palace you guys don't know where i sit on this band i kind of mentioned that already but this to me is like if paramore decided to go heavy i don't know if i've said that about a band on this channel before this is what they remind me of because her cleans kind of sound like paramore to me Obviously, the band itself doesn't, but her vocals and her clean sound like Paramore. And it just reminds me, if they went heavy, this would be them. And they're just nailing it every time. I love the heavier aspect they've been taking in this song and Malphis. It's been phenomenal. Because, like, their other stuff, if you haven't heard of Future Palace, write these notes down. I'm going to wait till you get a pen and paper. Write these songs down. Define Gravity. S-tier song title name, by the way. Define Gravity. Um, it's similar to the title or their band name, which is Future Paradise. It's similar to the band name. That's why I got confused. Future Paradise and Flames. Might be only three songs, three recommendations. And Malthus, I guess if you haven't heard those that, that song already. 
but they are literally bangers. Every single one of them are bangers. But those three I just mentioned, they're like not quite this heavy and not this root. And I, I love the old stuff too. Don't get me wrong. They're amazing songs. But these two are just like, when you combine it to those other ones and now you get this variation of just deeper, darker metal with this more metal core, it is so good. It just shows how much potential this band has. I like them so much. And there's only three people in the band. It, it's literally insane. I, I love it so much. With everything being said, I love the, the little breakdown they had. I think she literally even said the words breakdown, which is kind of hilarious. Um, the, the chorus was great. The ending was awesome. It had a lot of variety in the ending, a lot of back and forth, a lot of vocal swaps. Just a really, really good song. Holy shit. What a comeback to the channel, by the way. And it's a rising empire. No copyrights. Not even nervous about that, which is good. Zero out of a hundred. I don't even know where to put this. I just like, do I put it in the 90s? This would be insane. We, we ha we've only ever had two songs ever made in the 90s. And it was Imminence both times. It's close. It's pretty good. You know what? I know I'm going to be listening to this song a lot. And I got to start being more generous with these 90s. Because every time I give a song like an 88 or an 86, they might as well be a 90 half the time. Because I'm going to go and listen to them after the recording. And I'm going to fall in love with the song more and more. So you know what? I'm not going to give it above and beyond in the 90s. I'm going to give it a 90 flat. Because this song was awesome. I'm going to listen to it again. And I know the second or third or fourth or 800th time I listen to it, I'm going to like it more and more. So you hear it here first. I'm giving this song a 90. I'm coming back. This is a new house. I'm being slightly more generous with 90s recently uh, from now on. And this song deserved a 90. It was awesome. With that being said, let's move on to today's outro. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm in a different mood today. I feel good. Let's just go on to it. <laughs> wow. Future Palace. What a great song to come back to the channel. I hope you guys like this song as much as I did today. If you haven't heard of the band, please check out more of them. Uh, like I said, I'm already four songs deep that are not on the channel. Uh, so if you guys discover bands or songs through watching my channel, one, I appreciate you guys. And I love that you guys do that. I love that you guys watch reactions that you don't even know the band of and you're reacting with me. I love that so much. Unfortunately, like I just said, Four songs I've heard from these guys are not on the channel, so you'll have to go check those songs out yourself. Uh, I think my grandma in the 500 special, you'll have to do a deep dive on my channel, I think she reacted to Flames by them. So I guess Flames is on the channel. So if you guys want to watch my grandma react to that, because uh, I already heard the song at that point, I guess you can go check that out. Um, did my grandpa react to anything by them? I don't remember. Either way, though, I guess that song is on there. But then you'll have to go check them out. But please check them out. They are so good. Can you tell I'm excited today? I'm just excited and glad to be back. On top of that, since I've been gone, the subscriber count has still been going up. Which I also appreciate all you guys for. Uh, being on a 13, 14, 15 day hiatus, whatever it is. We're still pulling in subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the continuous support. I really, really, really do appreciate you guys. It's been awesome. Really took some stress off my shoulders being gone and still seeing some progress on the channel. Um, on top of that, though, hope to see you guys in the comments section down below and in future videos to come or in past videos. I have 184 other videos out, which is insane to think about. I got some shorts uploaded for you guys if you want to watch those. I'd really appreciate that as well. On top of that, though, if you guys have made it this far into the outro, you know what time it is. It's the secret outro word of the day, which means when I say this word, you comment it down below. Almost fucked that up. You comment it down below, and I'll know you're a real one for watching all the way to the end. And you might confuse a few people along the way, which is pretty cool. Let's do the word Mandarin. I don't know where I pulled that out of, but comment the word Mandarin. I'll know you're a real one. Feels good to be get back, guys. Messed that up, too. Don't care. Feels good to be back. I hope you guys are glad for me to be back as well. But with that being said, have a good night, everybody. Daddy Goose out.